WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. Three hours left to go on the trading day, and we got markets in positive territory. S&P is up three points, trading at 28.93. Nasdaq positive by 26, trading at 79.90, and the Dow up 96 points, trading at 26,061. Gold struggling a bit, off almost five dollars at 12.80.90. Oil up 68 cents, trading at 62.08. Dollar index basically flat, 97.395. And notes and bonds slightly lower price and higher yield. 10-year note, negative six ticks, 123.26. 30-year bond, negative nine ticks, 148.15. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. So approaching session highs intraday. We made that high at about 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Eastern time in the S&Ps of 28.90. Eight, and we're currently at 28.93 in the S&Ps. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar story. We make a high just after 11 a.m. of 76.89. We're now about 15 points away from that level, trading 76.73 in the NASDAQ 100. There's your Dow 30, again, inching up towards those intraday highs, 26,050, the high in the Dow. We're about 30, 35 points from that level. Crude oil, so we got our EIA numbers at 10.30 this morning. We saw a draw of three plus million barrels. You trade from about 61.55 prior to that number. You trade up to 62.35 for a high, and we're currently trading 61.94. And gold contract, talk about struggling, right? Since about 9 a.m., we're up there at 12.92. Gold, a steady decline, dipping down now 12.8105. In terms of what else you have happening, so gold trading lower, jumping over to some of the currencies, checking out the dollar, a little bit of action just in the last hour having to do with some trade escalation of some rhetoric. You have the dollar index spiking higher, 97.64. Check out that euro spike lower, 111.87. We get the pound right now trading at 130 on the dot, basically, and the yen trading 110.14. And to get over to what's moving and shaking, there we go. And it is, uh, there we go. So you have the Chinese Commerce Minister coming back to President Trump saying Wednesday that Beijing will retaliate if they get any tariffs on that 1201 and they will take necessary countermeasures. Be interesting to see at 1202 as that trade tensions ramp up. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now. His program from 8 a.m. Dave White live at 2. Tom O'Brien live at 3.